Hello everybody, welcome back. Let's play Hearthstone 4. Kai's Rick has the commune of France. Let's continue on for the last set off. So, we have attacked the Swiss to get my cores back. And I'm assuming, yeah, they're going to be very, very well defended. But that's all part of my plan. What mostly also involves them trying to smash their face into us for a while. Who's just fighting a war against us? Is it the yeah, Iron Guard again? Are they doing their actual focus or are they manually justifying for a second time? They are manually justifying for a second time. In a situation where, again, I am actually only stronger now than I was before. So I doubt they're actually going to push the claim. If they did, I would actually be amazed. But unfortunately, I can't get my allies to go along with my plan at the, at the moment. Do something like this. You know what? That works out okay, I think, as well. Who cares how many casualties it takes? Push your way into Switzerland. I think you guys need like some more support. So you, I am now shifting to be up to the north here. But I don't believe the CSA should look at our troops as like an extension of theirs because we're not in the same faction. But we have managed to break through a province. And it only takes one province to break. You guys do whatever you want. Um, you guys are going to push here, here as well, which is nice. Push through these two guys. Keep driving through birds. Uh, burn. Probably not. Definitely not. Probably pronounced burn, but... Oh, let's go for military science. Swimson's already halfway to capitulated. So now our only goal is Zurich. Everyone else is kind of just fine doing whatever. Rio has fallen. That should be the death of Brazil. It is. So, Argentina, you've done some good work. So, I'm going to give you some healthy uh, territory over here. And then I am going to take the rest of Brazil. There we go. And then I'm going to immediately release a friendly Brazil. Not balkanized. It's going to be a bit much. I don't know if you're going to get decisions to kind of break up these smaller areas in the south. No, it's not really my concern. So if you just want to release this a little bit faster, that'd be lovely. I understand it's a big country, and we, we're probably creating so, so many tags right now. There we go. So we got the communes of Brazil, led by this very, very old man. So we'll see what kind of happens at this point. Chile still... Has not... Please, let me right-click Chile. They have still not decided to actually join our faction. So... Oh, if you can actually do this... That works out well. The CSA can probably deal with the American Union State on their own, I would imagine. 
We got 37 percent. We're since we're halfway dead, so we definitely are going to need to take over both. Here we're three victory points. Zurich is worth 15, so yeah, that's definitely going to be our target. Like, if we can get the complete surround on the city, that'd be nice. I don't think that's exactly likely. We're already at 94. Four percent. So the city's probably going to break soon. But technically, um, we're not the ones actually fighting Switzerland. They've, Switzerland probably has a better kill death ratio than we have. Yeah, they're not even trying to reinforce the city. So that works out fine for us. I would like to scroll over here, please. Thank you. Yeah, it's like, I understand there's a lot going on, but... But I do a rocket site in Missouri now. seems nice. Um, of course, I'm going to uh, retain the territory that I fought for. I don't even know what to do with Like, at this point, I guess you're going to guard against Iron God Romania in case they decide to do the actual invasion, which I don't think they will. But just in case they think about it. My, tr my tr truck strats. Any Hearts of Iron 4 campaign will eventually lead to truck strategy. But you just drive to the victory points before the AI can probably react to it. So it looks like our allies are invading these islands. They gotta get their way to uh, Jamaica. So taking San Sacramento, 35%. San Fran is worth 20. But it is a port province. They might have somebody defending it. They do not because they're bad. That works out for me. So that gets you down to 30%. So he keeps saying weeaboo. I don't know why he's doing that. San Diego is worth also 15. So if you want to keep driving down the coast, taking all these major Californian cities. Okay, no, apparently I just need to give it back to Brazil. Disappointing, but what can you do? Also, Italy, you can declare war on Lombardia anytime you want. Baha is clearly one of the communists of Brazil. Oh, I think this is like the generic civil war event that normally happens, but they don't realize that they cannot win this obvious war. Who are you? You are... Yeah. So you're now just going to play against this guy. He doesn't really... Yeah, they don't understand that they are not going to survive this. Attention. 
And then I imagine the CSA is going to be able to defeat the American USA pretty easily. Why is your attrition so high? Probably because you're in the mountains. And also, it's probably hot. You have nine divisions up here? I mean, it's working. Literally, it's working. Yeah, you probably should have thought out your plan. But you can't do... Like, you have to... Attack, right? They're so... Oh, the United States is dead. If, I'm, I'm curious, actually, to see what happens if I take all states. The CSA is taking a bunch of states as well. I don't think the game's expecting you to take any territory from them from the CSA while you're still like at war. If that makes any sense. Okay, so do something like this. Like CSA, I would give you your territory back. They love you, plus 200. Um, the international strength is plus 100. Like, in hindsight, I probably should have just given it all to the CSA, but... Cancel non-aggression pack with us. That's okay. Apparently, I don't like them very much. They've claimed our territory. I mean, it's not wrong, per se. It's gonna take 45 days. Let me also just declare war on the American Union state. How long will that take? Thirty days. Yeah, dude, let's do it. Let us... And that's not even with our 70% discount, either. No, nobody joins this war. There's so many. I have too many satellite states. That's what I've discovered, is I got too many of the guys. Like, I think you're like the last guy left. After this, the wars will be over. Except for the American Union State, but I'm going to quickly throw everybody on this line. Can I do a front line in your territory? No, because we're not technically at war with them yet. And then we'll just like a massive invasion of the American Union State. We'll be ready in 25 days, which is actually faster, I think, than your naval invasion plan. Yeah, the center of the gear up. It's fine. How many men do you have? You have 9 to 10 divisions, so you're going to die very soon. Apparently, we don't have enough superiority over the Gulf of Mexico. There we go. Does that like complete control over here? Fantastic. You'd be able to go in, like, three days. There's a chance that, like, a majority of their troops will just be in Kingston. That is entirely possible. And the American... Or the CSA... 
they might be able to kill the American Union State before I even get a chance to actually really, like, jump in. But we shall see. They gotta do it in, like, 25 days. And before I just completely march my way straight to New Orleans. I think... Probably after the American United States dead, it's probably going to just be like the end of the entire series. They really don't see what else we can really do. Like we could attack Japan or like Mongolia, but eh, I really don't feel like we need to. I feel like we're pretty uh, secure with what we have. Ten more days. Conquer the south here soon. One more week until the war is ready to go. And at that point, we'll probably like not be in our war anymore. Except for Kingston. Kingston... Very, very well defended, apparently. But I don't know if the West Indies Confederation... Never gonna like kind of like give up, I guess, for lack of a better word. Can I actually just turn you all into like marine divisions? Maybe. Do I want to do that? Another question. Um. Let's research you. Let's go for plan. Uh, what's it? Plan Prost. I don't know what Prost is. It's probably like a French word for something. Cost his belly? Did I cancel it? I don't remember canceling it. But I might have because I'm dumb. I mean, I could just do this. Is it cheating? I mean, kind of, but I feel like I I feel like I've already done it. And just march away safe to New Orleans. Help him out. I did turn it off, right? Yeah. Okay. And we should, I think, be good to go. March down here. Ignore all of these things. We got Night Vision 1. Pretty nice. Let's get Night Vision 2. It's like four years at a time. Whatever. It's all good, man. So 72% capitulation. That's because like your territory that you control has changed. And Reckoning you say it's dead. I'm gonna have to pass it like a million times. I mean, if I do the American Union State, it's significantly cheaper for them. You know what? Uh, it's bug. Uh, Del all calf. Don't. Don't worry about it. Mostly because I just wanted the series to I want the series to be over. And spending like an entire extra episode killing you doesn't seem like the best use of my time. Okay, so American Civil War's ended. I don't know what's gonna happen now, in my territory, if they just declare war on us. We will see. Again, I'm pretty sure the game is not 
accounting for this at all. Like, it has no idea what to even think about this. Can I not sign you to this order? Please do a naval invasion of uh, Puerto Rico. So that we can finally conclusively say we're not at war with anybody anymore. And then you can also join uh, our faction. I mean, joining our faction would also take actually forever. Is there any other major cities they have? They have uh, Port de France. It's worth four points. Well, they should capitulate, I think, when we take this city. We take Puerto Rico. And then we can say we've done it. By taking all their states. And then I can click on all this and it doesn't matter anymore. Because you don't exist. And you, you were never real. Make up a bunch of tiny island countries. Again, it's going to take a while for it to load and figure out everything that's happening, but... Will it... Okay, Puerto Rico, I think, is under a different... At least an independent Puerto Rico. Okay. I mean, only like two of the islands split up, so to say that we've split up the Federation, I don't know if that's necessarily an accurate uh, portrayal. And something's happening. I don't know what, but the game was trying to do something over midnight. But I think with that, uh, imagine all of the CSA is, is colored uh, blue. Then it's going to be a good time to end this series. So thank you everybody for watching. My name is Anthem. If you've enjoyed, give a thumbs up. If you're not enjoyed, you can always thumb down. If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.